Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that I came across recently when trying to open a company file in the old MYOB classic version. So we're talking about the old desktop version. Um, I was using version 19.13 at the time. This is the offline version that some people still do like to use. It is a very good program. The only downside for some people is that it doesn't connect to the cloud, but for some people that is actually an advantage. Anyway, so what happened here was I went in and I tried to open up Count Right Premier. Just like normal, I went to go open. I went to go find the file. I typed in the password. And then when I clicked OK, I got this error. initialization error and after I click OK it goes back to this screen here. I tried this a few times I can't get in. I went then and I upgraded to version 19.16 account right premier version 19.16 as you can see here and still it didn't fix the problem. Now just to backtrack a little bit every now and then when Windows performs updates you will have problems with the old desktop version of Myob or Myob Classic, some people call it. Myob are not supporting the old classic versions anymore, the versions that you would have bought outright back in the day rather than being on a subscription. And every now and then, usually happens when Windows performs an update, you just won't be able to open a file. There was another error that I came across a while ago that happened after Windows update. I'll put a card up above if you're interested in that one. But this particular time, I hadn't ever seen this one before the no initialization error. Anyway, so I did a bit of research and I did get this to work. And I will give a shout out to Mark299. That's his username on the MyOB community forum who brought this to my attention. And this is what Mark299 said to do. So I'll just close out of here. This is how you fix the error. What you have to do is go down to the search bar here and you have to type in SYSDM dot cpl this little icon here should come up sysdm dot cpl control panel item you click on that and then this window pops up next you go to advanced the advanced tab here at the top in the middle under the performance section you're going to click on settings and then you're going to click on data execution prevention, this tab on the right there. And you can see here, there is one item down here, account right premier application file. When I did this for the first time, there was nothing here. And then when I added the account right premier file, that's what fixed the issue. So then you have to go add and you have to locate where your myob.exe file is located on your computer. Now, if you don't know where it is located, and sometimes it can be confusing, especially if you've had different versions of Myob old versions stored in different places on your computer, you won't know which one is which maybe. So to find out where the correct.exe file is, you go down to your search bar here and you type in MYOB and you find the Myob classic file in question and you go to open file location. And when you click up here, this will show you the directory path of where the .exe file is located. So as you can see, it's in Program Data, Microsoft Windows Start Menu Programs, My Ob Account Premier 1916. This could be different for you, but this is how you locate it. So you use this directory path. To locate it here so in my case it is in c program data microsoft Win, and then windows so if we go to c and then program data and then microsoft and then windows And then start menu and then programs. Start menu, programs, 
And then we're looking for my old account right premier version 19.16. There it is. And then there is my exe file. So if you click open, you'll be able to then add it here. And once you've added it here, all you do is click OK. You can OK out of there. And we can try again now to select it. Open. Go find your file. Open. Type in your password. And there you go. We're in. It's fixed. I always do get a little bit worried whenever we have these issues come up in the old classic mild versions because there still are a lot of people who, out there who like to use them. It is a great program. It might not be able to connect to the cloud or have fancy plugins, but it is a lot faster than the online versions. It is more secure potentially because it's never connected to the internet. And it is definitely more private because it's not connected to the cloud. So I really do hope that Myob and Microsoft continue to support the use of this old classic Myob version because it really is a great little workhorse and certainly has its place in the bookkeeping software landscape as everything is moving to the cloud now because not everyone wants to be in the cloud and that's fine. Anyway, guys, I hope that this video helped to solve your issue and you're back working on your Myob Classic file, your company file, without any initialization errors. Now, if you're looking to do training or learn anything about various accounting software programs, if you want to do a training session, you can head over to our website, qtraining.net.au, and you can book in a session there. We can do a one-on-one -on -one session, or you can even have a group of you over Zoom where you'll share your screen and I'll show you how to do whatever it is you need to do. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later.